Hi everyone, this is going to be a swatch and review video for Milani's new Gilded Desires Face and Eye Palette. This is available if you want to purchase it through Ulta. It is also available if you want to purchase it directly through Milani's site. And I would think that it would also be available in stores at um, any sort of beauty store that sells Milani. At Ulta's website, it retails for $19.99. As always, I will put a link in the description box below to where you can purchase this if you are interested. Please also make sure that you go and follow Allura Beauty's Instagram account. I know I can't believe that I've had this channel for so long and never run an Instagram account, but I've decided now to shift instead of doing website reviews into doing Instagram. I think that's more current and um, also just will work better for time management in terms of doing the beauty reviews. So I will link that in the description box below also. Please also make sure, of course, that you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on giveaways that are run both on the Instagram account and on this channel. So the description for this palette says that it lets you feed your desire for even more daytime to playtime eyeshadow looks. Featured inside a sleekly designed metalized gold compact is a comfortable mix of 12 ultra blendable pigment rich shadows and two highlighters with velvety matte and reflective shimmer finishes that can be used to contour, line the eyes, define brows, and illuminate high points in the inner corners of your eyes. The eyes are supposed to have excellent skin adhesion for lasting wear and will not cake, crease, or flake. The compact is designed with a full-sized mirror for easy on-the-go touch-ups and a spill-free tray perfect for travel. Okay, so here are the shades up close. I am, in terms of swatching them, going to go by the left side of the compact and then the right side. So I'll swatch each of the eyeshadows left to right, uh, going by row from top to bottom, and then I will swatch the highlighter last. And of course, I will do the same thing with the right side of the palette, which is the more uh, nighttime shades. And the names for each of the shades in this palette are labeled on the back. So swatched over primer, we start with Naked Truth. This is a matte kind of egg cream shade. Second is Champagne Wasted. And this is a metallic peach champagne. Third is Love Addict, which is a deep red maroon with a metallic finish. Desire for Gold. This is more of like a vintage gold shade. It's a deeper and kind of more yellow-brown gold. The metallic finish. Just bronzing around. And this is a medium, kind of warm toned metallic bronze. And last for the eyeshadows is the Olive of My Life. And this is a brown olive with gold shimmer. And finally, the highlight is called Brighten Up My Day. And that was one layer. I'm going to add a second layer. Didn't really need it, but just to show you how it builds. Okay, so here are the eyeshadows up close for the daytime portion or the left portion of the palette. I'm actually not very impressed with the formula for most of these shades. The smoothest and creamiest one was the last color there, but I'm surprised the rest of them were kind of dry and patchy on application. They're not as vibrant and smooth and dense as I would expect from a Milani palette. On the other hand, the highlighting shade applied very smoothly and nicely, has fairly refined shimmer to it. The shade is kind of like a cream with a slight gold flash. All right, moving on to the right side of the palette, we have Sweet as Honey, which is a matte, actually slightly shimmering pale pink. Second is Most Covet Rosé. This is a duochrome shade. It's a rose pink at the base with a gold flash. Crazy for Cocoa is a fairly neutral medium satin brown. 
Time to Unwind is a matte red wine shade. Would You Join Me is a medium to deep neutral brown with a satin matte finish. And Black Tie Affair is a truly matte midnight black. Last up is the highlighter, which is called Highlight of My Day. Here is a second layer swatched. And this is like a champagne, slightly peach color. Okay, here is the right side of the palette, the eyeshadow swatched up close. This side of the palette is much better in terms of formulation and consistency. The matte shades are very good. I would say the least impressive of the shades is this matte shade in the first shade, but the other shades swatch much more smoothly which, with much more intense pigmentation. This matte black shade is probably the best matte black eyeshadow shade that I have seen across the board, one of the best ones, and definitely probably the best one in uh, drug stores. And then the highlighter is uh, very good, swatches very smoothly and with refined shimmer. All right, so there is Milani's Gilded Desires palette. I am a little disappointed with the shades on the left side. Um, I can't really say that the quality is quite there. They probably will apply better on the eyelids because it's a smaller space on the eyelids compared to when I'm doing swatches. But, you know, if you think back to the two eyeshadow um, palettes that Milani released previously, which I do have a swatch video for, those had a ton more eyeshadows in terms of the number of them, and they were much better in consistency. So we know that Milani can do better in terms of the formulation of the shadows. So I'm not sure why the shades on the left side were um, patchier than the shades that Milani has previously released in their eyeshadow palettes. But the right side of the palette was very good. And the highlighters are uh, both very good too. So let me know in the comment section below what your experience has been with this palette. Do they swatch a lot better when actually applied to the lids than um, the way that they swatched in the video? Uh, what do you think overall of the palette? Please feel free to share your comments in the section below. I hope that this video was helpful to you and that you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.